Hello and welcome back to CS201 Walkthroughs. My name is Lukash. I had a few minutes before section and I remembered that binary, hexadecimal, these concepts can be a little confusing. So I was going to make a quick video to just show how we convert between them and normal ba base 10 or decimal numbers that you use in your everyday life. So really quickly, just to review decimal, uh, this number is 123, but you can also think of it as 3 times 1 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times 100. So here's that 1, here's that 2, here's that 3. Or in other words, 1 is 10 to the 0, two is, uh, 10 is 10 to the 1, I don't know if you can see these small numbers, and then 100 is actually just, if we erase the 0, is 10 to the 2. So each time we move over a digit, we're increasing the power of 10 by 1. Here it's 0, here it's 1, here it's 2. Okay, in binary we do the same thing, but it's base 2, so the value of the places increases or multiplies by 2 each time. So this is similarly the 1's place, this is the 2's place, 4's, 8's, and then 16's. Over here, this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, etc. So if I were to calculate this out, this would be zero times one plus one times two, one times two, plus zero times four, zero times eight, one times sixteen. And that gives me two plus sixteen gives me eighteen. Okay. Hexadecimal, on the other hand, is base 16. So the challenge here is that we don't have 16 digits in our vocabulary to represent the 16 digits in hexadecimal. So for the digit, or for the number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, we map them onto letters. So this is going to be A. B, C, D, E, F. So when I write a number in hexadecimal, like 2A, F, what that really means is 2 is the first digit, 10 is the second digit, and 15 is the third digit. So we similarly have to weight these just like we did in binary and in decimal. So this is the ones place, ones place. This is the sixteens place. And then this is the 256th place. Again, increasing and multiplying by 16 each time. Here we multiply by 2 each time. In decimal, we multiply by 10. Okay? So to calculate the value of this number, it would be 1 times 15, right? Because there's a 15 in the 1's place. 16 times 10 plus 2 in the 256th place. Okay, so I think that equals, let's see, 15 plus 160 plus 512 equals, I've never been great at math, is 672 plus 15 is 687. Okay, I hope that was review for you, or if not, go through it a couple more times, make sure you fully understand how to convert from hexadecimal and from binary to base 10. Going the way back is a little bit trickier. In the next video, I'll go over some strategies you can use specifically related to the problems in Racket uh, to, to apply this in recursive format to convert between the number types. Thanks for watching this video and have fun coding.